So I just want to know what does it take for someone to become a leader? Is it like the talent or like talented ones or those supposed to become leaders? Or is it like a call for leadership? Or maybe what can be done for someone to be a leader? I what I'm gonna say is it's a call. It's a call that you feel inside that you should take charges of something that no one gave you charges over. Youth feel and believe that I should do this. So when you feel like that, whatever you are going to do, now if, when you feel like I should do this, the motivation I don't know, but mostly the motivation that I believe in is the motivation of doing the better for for the community. If you feel like I um, should do this because I think that this will help A, B, C, D, will help these people, will help my community, will help my fellow refugees, then you are good to go. And the, if you give up, I think that's not a call. That's, that's a different thing. Because giving up, it means that you have not prepared for that particular thing. That's why, I'm, that's why I answered even for the business. You can fail, but you can't give up. Because whenever you give up, you mean that, no, oh, this thing was not for me. I should go back and let other people to continue. Let me take an example. I said about, uh, I, because of the love of uh, media and the like, I even started the techno TV back then. Yeah. And uh, what happened is the young boy that was doing the filming, disappeared with the camera. So how, how do you deal with this as a leader? First of all, you need to remember that people will not be perfect. That's number one. So if I'm working with you, I shouldn't, I shouldn't assume that you are the perfect person. That would be, that would be misguiding and also will make me to react where I'm not supposed to react. So the, among the challenges that leaders meet every day is things like that. People will misbehave, people will even insult you, people will do things that you didn't tell them to do. And at the end of the day, as a leader, you need to remember that these are the people, maybe they are doing this because of lack of information or because of the behavior pattern that in order to heal this, we need to go with them, train them, build their capacity. Somebody doesn't know how to do something, but because they can't confirm that I don't know how, I don't know how to do this, they'll be rude. And that rudeness, as you as a leader, you, you take it personal. Who is wrong? Between this who is rude and you as a leader who has taken it personal and say this person is rude, I can't work with this kind of people. And with this community, we have this kind of uh, one fish represent all the fish, so you, you even group the whole nationality. I can't work with the Rwandese, they are like this. How do you do that? You don't deal with that. You have to have the patience, but also try to advise, try to guide, try to train. If that fail, you have the power to, to suspend and hire. As long as that you hired this particular person, why can't you suspend them if they can't change? So as, as you want to be a leader, you feel like I want to be a leader, that is already a sign that you are already a leader inside you, but you just now take, need to start taking those risks that are there and do the thing. It's not about saying, say let's do more. If you want to be a leader, what are you doing? Are you, in which way are you doing that? And then when you do the risk, the result will tell after that. Yeah. I, if, if I'm, I'm answering you correctly, yeah, but he, still, that's what I can try to share with you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any? So recently, many people were removed from the, maybe, the World Food Program, and there's so many issues that are happening in terms of education, and many youth seem to lose hope in that direction. And as a person who has been in the camp for quite a long time, you've been there, you've faced the hardships, you've been able to conquer them and they've built so many solutions. What hope do the youths need to have from you as a person who has solutions? Do we, uh, maybe my question would be, what is the solution or maybe what would be the advice for the fellow youths who are out there thinking maybe they have lost hope, maybe they have lost their life, 
what would you tell them as a person who has gone through that but has been able to move from that? Thank you. It's, it's, it's a trick question. <laughs> it's a very trick question. And the main answer I can say is if a young person has lost hope because of the current situation, and it is true, the situation is very tense. As what you say, there's some other people, some other young people has been removed even the food programs, uh, food whatever. But now, if I was supposed to talk to them directly, I could tell them that sometime you need to go through hell to lead to heaven. So what if the heaven is after you pass through the hell? Are we going to stuck here on the hell and give up? Or should we try to give one more doubt, benefit of doubt that the future will be right and keep moving forward? So how do we do that? Thanks to UNSCR, there is the opportunity for Cozella, which also is a platform you can learn online, but you can't learn online without bundle, right? That we agree and we know the internet is crazy, way high. But the same young people are the ones that are on TikTok. Are the ones that are on YouTube looking at the jokes and the comments. So it's now the time to be very much, very much conscious in calculating where our effort and energy are going. If you, are for, if you, are, you have 200, how are you using that particular 200? I will take you back to how I survived. I, was a, I started as a professional barber. I was shaving uh, to one of the very common, very popular person in the camp. So I was a barber shaving people who, they, those are the people that could not go to any professional barber, so they were coming to me. They are going to be paying them as very little as possible. But how did I survive? Because that was the same money I could use either to help my home to buy some, some flour, but the rest of the money I buy bundle to go online to learn about coding. So when we get to the small resource, how are we using that small resource? It has to be more, more, more calculated than the way we could if we, everything was the same. So we, we have to be more economical than anyone. So by using every, if there is opportunity for education, let's be more, more serious than anyone because we are paying a lot. Because <laughs> we have nothing else, so we are paying with all of ourselves. If it's an opportunity for job, let's do all our best to do, to work on those particular jobs. So at the end of the day, whatever we get can change our life for the better. Let me talk about the environment or the condition in the camp. You can spend all your time thinking about what you can tell the people and you don't even think about yourself. So what are the benefits of all the sacrifices? If you, are, if you are training people, what is it motivating you to do that? Because if you, what motivates you is money, then if you don't get money, you'll be upset, right? And if what motivates you is fame, when you don't get fame, it's, you are going to be upset. The same way, so for most real leaders, they are not motivated with money, they are not, not motivated with fame. That's why you find a lot of readers, they are living normal, standard life. Because they are, what is motivating them maybe is to see what was happening yesterday is not continuing. We know about the fighters for freedom. Most of them, they, they, they never even enjoy the freedom itself. Yeah. They, they, were, they, they, were, they died before even the freedom. But today we celebrate because those people were there. So as a leader, as a young leader, because I see a lot of readers here, if we are motivated with money, then we are in a long press. You can't be a leader who is motivated with the money, because money comes and goes. Money will reach some time and it, it will disappear. But make sure that there is a very good reason that you, it pushes you to do what you are doing. If you think, my fellow youth, they are suffering, and I think the best way to do is to train them, do that without expecting them to pay you. And if you think, look, okay, my fellow community is struggling with the AIDS because the information about AIDS is not well accessible, then I will make sure that I, I, spread, I spread this particular information easily. Do that, but if you want money, please, 
Don't go there. Go to the entrepreneurship part. If you want fame, the art is there. It will make you to become fame easily. But if you really need to make sure that you change people's life, forget about these easy things and go for the hard thing. Because leadership is hard. Leadership is complicated. Leadership is painful. You need to sacrifice. You need to even go without eating while you make sure that the less of people are eating. And at the end of the day, one of the books say the leader eats last. And uh, what does that say? It says that you can't be the first one. You have opportunity. You are the one to put yourself ahead. So then you are not leading. You are just there to get opportunities and use the less of the people. And no one in this world likes to be used. If they know they are being used, they feel like, okay, man, go along. So, yeah, I can say that. The leaders, what it what motivates them is what they acquire at the end of the day. So if you, some of them, they are really motivated by money. If they get money, it's fine. But most of them, they are, they are motivated by the change, which at the end of the day, they see in the world. But when you are solving people's problem, trust me, it will come to pass that you also will get some share. So don't worry. <laughs> That's true. There is this person, his name is Draka. He's a business person. So he was having uh, an argument in Harvard Business. So he, he stated that in this environment, in this new environment, successful activities are not planned. Do you believe in that? Okay. In this new environment, successful activities are not planned. Planning to me is very important, mm -hmm. but planning shouldn't be like a Bible guidance. That's why I said leaders, they make a path. And when you're making a path, sometimes you need to change things around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, I have to learn more about what he said after that, because I need to get full the elaboration, but he, indeed, sometimes plans can limit you to lead to your goal. Sometimes plans can make you to give up, because you think this is the only way we should do it. But when you are flexible, when you are open-minded, you can still move forward and they change things where they are. They say here, you say, no, let me try this, let me try this, let me try this. Yeah. And then you see things happening. happening. Yeah. Wow. So you need, you need to be flexible to try things around. You need to be free. As long as you are doing the thing, please give yourself the freedom to be able to try things out. Mm -hmm. If this is not working and they say the only way to get a good picture you should do the, the rule of third, but it's not giving you the best result, then turn around. My last question is, are you satisfied with how you are now? <laughs> or are you still hungry? I'm very hungry. I'm just empty. If there's some people who are empty and they haven't ate anything, I'm one of them. I haven't reached anywhere, to be honest. I haven't reached anywhere, I haven't done anything, I uh, haven't impacted enough lives at all. So, this is just like, you know, it's, it's like you see the ocean on the video, in the movie, and you celebrate like, yeah! No, 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 no. The ocean haven't even touched it. Yeah. So I am still have a long way to go and I am still looking forward to work with a lot of people to see that, okay, we have done something. Not yet. We, are, we haven't even, even think about looking at what we have done. No, no. Not yet. No, we haven't. Yeah. Because we haven't done nothing. Okay, I think if someone wants to lead to where I am, it's easy but not easy. The first of all, you need to work tirelessly. You need to, first of all, you need to forget about the Friday and Saturday parties. Most of us, we like parties, right? Yeah. But if you want to be better in anything, you need to sacrifice some of the things. 
one of them is these things that they are not necessarily meaningful. Because things like this are necessary because we are talking, we are learning, right? But going to the, to the party, most of them, and you are going to the day night disco, you are going, you are chilling the whole day, chatting about no, no, nothing. Those are not necessary. Apart from that, if you want to be anywhere in life, not to my level, because you, some of you reach bigger levels, even like here. So you need to get rid of this time consuming that are in your list. You need to, you need to learn, focus on learning all the time, every time, until the learning become your, your part of you. If you want to be a programmer, man, there is no such thing of a programming when you are not programming. It's easy to lie everyone in the world that I'm a developer, but deep down you know that I'm not. So you should be the one to be honest to yourself. That whenever you say, I'm a photographer, you know exactly what you are meaning. And not this kind of boosting, because we can boost. Anyone can boost, right? Yeah. Anyone can boost, but when you say things, make sure that this thing is coming deep down in your heart. Your voice inside you tell like, yes, I've done a lot of photos, but I have done a lot of coding. So engage yourself into that particular thing you believe in 100% and plus some others. So this means that if you are not going, if you are not Christian, you are a Muslim, if you are not going to mosque, or if you are going to mosque, and you are a photographer, you are going to Moscow taking picture and learning how to take best picture than what you did yesterday. Mm. If you are a Christian, the only day that you are free is the time you are going to church to do the church service. But apart from that, the rest of the life, you are learning, you are practicing, you are sharing. Learn, practice, share. Let people judge you. People that will tell you, this is stupid, man. Whatever you are doing is lies. Whatever you are singing, it doesn't make sense. You want to be a best singer, sing until nobody can say they have never heard your voice. Because some people are very good, talented, but some of you get surprised even the neighbor doesn't know about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because you sing in yourself and you go, you boost it around, say, I'm a singer. No, let people talk about you. Sing, share, make sure people they are tired of your song until they know your voice through the songs. <laughs> your artists, draw as much, draw anywhere. Draw as much as you can to the point that if they see the drawing, they know this must be you. If it's not you, they should ask you, who did this? Who did this? Because they know you are the only one who can even paint to the wall, to the wires, yeah. and still they can see the picture. They know you are the only one who can write a good poem until they, can, they cannot get to think about any other one. But how we'll reach that is when we engage ourselves deeply into the thing that we call ourselves we want to do it. So that's what even I do. I code every time. I code with my phone. I code with my computer. I code wherever with my book. I code everywhere that I get a chance. Wow. So that at the end of the day, when I don't know, I will be guided yeah. and I also share. I say to people that I know they can give me feedback. I say, what do you see about this? They say, no, this is rubbish, this is stupid. What is this idea? What, who will use it? And you learn, you know, okay, I should change here. So most of the things we are told that they are meaningless and we don't need to take that personal. So as you are learning to go further, learn to accept people's feedback. I have made a lot of videos because I was a photo videographer back then. And people look at me and say, oh, wow, what is this lavish man? <laughs> yeah, and that gets you to the other, like, what did I do wrong? I said, no, this was supposed not to be there. This was not supposed to be there. I liked it. I will give you a simple example. I liked a lot of three, the, the, the video, the, the journalism, and the when he, one of the shooting, which is still on YouTube, I did it chewing gum and somebody told like, man, are you serious? Chew. How can you chew the gum and act like you are presenting anything? <laughs> Does it work? So I learned through that, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the way. Yeah. Do as much as you can in the field you choose, but also share as much so that you can get true, honest feedback. Wow. Thank you very much for that,